on TNN, the Nashville Network. Veteran Canadian entertainer Al Dupuis is all pumped up after a recent recording visit to Music City. Roxanne Russell found out why when she visited with Al at the studio. You're the one in my life that I keep dreaming of. You're the thing in my life that I think the most of. The cool, gentle feeling that I get inside. When I think of the love that I just can't hide. Like countless country cohorts, Al Dupuis is what you call paying his dues. Al has devoted over a decade of his life to the music business, making inroads in the club circuit, seeing some success as a songwriter, and relishing a recording contract. What makes the road to success a long road to haul for country entertainer Al Dupuis is the country he's from and loves, Canada. Well, how does the Canadian country market compare to, say, the national scene? First of all, obviously a smaller market, much smaller. Uh, there's probably, there could be more radio stations in maybe a couple of your states here in the United States than we have in, in the whole of Canada. You know, we have a population of 25 million. You folks are 225 million. There's an awful lot of people in Canada who are still touring, who, you know, are well above their 50s, you know, are making a comfortable living, but they're certainly not getting rich. It's very difficult to, to, uh, to really reap uh, monetarily from from, from the music business, and I say really reap, you know, you can make a very good living, but to get rich out of music in Canada is very difficult to do because of the market, because it's so small. I love you, loving me. Deciding to be a country artist was no small feat for Al. It meant giving up a career as a school teacher, a career that took five years of college to prepare for. When I was teaching in 75, I was playing some bars on the weekend. And it was, uh, it was just too taxing on my system. And also, it, was, it wasn't uh, allowing me to be as productive a school teacher. When I would go and, you know, you've got these students that, <laughs> that are 11, 12, 13 years old. When they get busy talking to you a lot and you get all these voices happening and you just finished playing this bar the night before, you know, and, and uh, having to go through that thing as well, it became uh, too difficult to do both effectively. So I had to make a choice. I felt I had to make a decision. I had gone to college five years, so it was a tough decision to make because I wanted to be a school teacher. And, and I didn't leave because I didn't like school teaching. I left because my calling was strong music. Al, you taught French to seventh and eighth graders for two years. Sing me something in French. Yeah, all right. We can do that for you. Okay. Let's do a song that my mother taught me when I was five years old. Je me demande souvent pour toi. Tu m'as quitté une autre fois. To listen to Al Dupuis sing is to listen to a man proud of his Canadian homeland. His voice is rich with sensitivity and confidence, something he lacked as a young man. Well, it's the old story. <laughs> the old story of getting sand kicked in your face. You know the old Charles Atlas thing? Well, when I was 16, I got beat up by a couple of guys. And from that point on, I swore it would never happen again. Not that I'm going to go out and do this tonight, but I'm saying this, this is the motivation be behind a young boy at 16. I swore that I would never have that happen to me again. So I started training with weights. And I was an awful small, skinny little fellow, you know, about 130 pounds, at the same height I am now. So I started training with weights. And I enjoyed what it not only did for me physically in, in the growth, but mentally it gave me confidence. Oh, I'm feeling good from my head to my toes. Also has a new outlook on his ability as a songwriter. Since he writes from the heart, it was at one time difficult for Al to perform his own material. It left him vulnerable to expose his innermost thoughts before a strange audience night after night. Is that the material that I've written in the last three years has changed its orientation. It's gotten away from talking about the hurt because 
things have changed in my life in the last three years. So that past is gone, and I'm, I'm trying to bury the hatchet, more or less. And things have been great the last, last few years, and so my material now uh, that I'm writing is, has got a very positive nature to it. So I don't mind singing it at all. You know, so it's actually, there isn't a problem today singing my own material. Matter of fact, I love doing it. Be with me when I'm blue. I want to spend my life with you. Be with me when I cry. Our love keeps growing as we try. It's so nice to be with you until my life with you is through. Stay with me till I die. I think I have some things to say and some ways of saying them that might be a little bit different than the way someone else has said it. There's different ways to say I love you, as you know. So I think I have my own way because of, well, possibly my, my education, uh, my background, my, my heritage, uh, like I'm French. And, you know, and, uh, so I have a way of saying something and I think I can project it in a song a little bit different than maybe anyone else ever has. And I'd like to get some recognition for it. Crazy for you, baby. And I really need your loving tonight. Oh, baby, my baby. Al Dupuy has come a long way since his commitment to music 10 years ago. Finally, he is getting the recognition he deserves as a singer, songwriter, and entertainer. I said you go, honey, make me move, give me a feeling all right. 